The Mustangs starting lineup will include 6'5 sophomore Trey McBride who I'm sure is not done growing along with 5'11 senior Nate Gertner as lineups yet to be introduced but we'll get to the other three here momentarily for Fort Morgan obviously your starters sit on the bench to before they run off the bench to be introduced Grayson Garver a six foot sophomore also in the starting lineup for Fort Morgan Austin Breidenbach a six foot junior I mentioned Nate Gardner and the fifth starter is Tate Kemble, the point guard and a junior. The B Digger starting lineup tonight is brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan. Proud to be Northeast Colorado's locally owned hometown savings and loan with locations in Fort Morgan, Sterling and Brush. Available 24-7 for your banking needs. The B Diggers go with sophomore point guard Ryan Dunker at 5'10. Along with BJ Hirschfeld, a senior at 5'11. There's Aaron Nichols. Nichols for Brush. Stands at 6'5. Front and mount a six foot junior, and then Noah Leachman. The big man for the Bead Diggers, along with Nichols. Leachman standing at 6'4. So they're going to have to body up against a very talented, and as I mentioned, athletic Fort Morgan squad. Opening tip tonight is brought to you by Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance. Looking to find insurance for your car, home, or even for you? Call Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance with locations in Brush and Fort Morgan. They can help you with your home, car, health, or life insurance questions or provide a quote. Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance. It'll be Trey McBride jumping center against Noah Leachman. Once again, the Brush girls won tonight in a fairly close game, 41-33, even though Brush had control throughout. Tip is controlled, but uh, that might have been a quick tip. Yeah, I think they're going to give it over to the beat diggers as McBride went up quickly as the ball was still ascending. Kind of stole the tip. Will be brush basketball. Here comes Mount. Mount against Breidenbach. Swings it right side on the bounce to Dunker. Dunker against Gertner. Towards the right corner intended for Leachman. Ball's loose on the floor. And now a tie-up, and that'll go to Fort Morgan. Obviously not the way the Bee Diggers wanted to start this game. And to throw it in will be Kimball to Grayson Garver. So Garver will be the point guard here. Garver on the outside right towards Kimball. Poked out of bounds by Nichols. Three quarters court Kimball to throw it in. Oh, he got something on the floor. I don't know what that is. Almost like fragments of plastic. Now to trigger and will be Campbell. Campbell into Garver. Garver at the top gets a pick, dribbles to his right. Jump pass, left wing for Gertner. Gertner against Hirschfeld. Chest pass right side. Here is Garver. Garver cross court to McBride. Dribbles left baseline. Jump pass down low in the lane. The shot by Campbell's up and no good. And Aaron Nichols has the rebound for the Bee Diggers. There's the outlet to Dunker. Dunker on the outside left at the top for Mount. Mount dribbles to his left. Left to the free throw line. Back out to Dunker. Dunker into the lane. He's fouled. Looked like, no, no. They're going to call an offensive foul. An elbow thrown by Dunker. It's also the second turnover for Brush. Campbell to throw it in. Nice defense here by Nate Gertner. 
And Garber looks over to head coach Chad Unrein for play instructions. Across midcourt, behind his back. Swings at right corner for Kemble. Dribbles to his left. And then cross-court pass tipped away by Hirschfeld. Intercepted by Leachman. Leachman into the lane. All the way scoops it up and he misses. And Tate Kemble comes away with a rebound for the Mustangs. Kemble into the front court. Kemble swings at left side. Garber, three in the air, is off the front of the rim. The rebound and put back by Breidenbach is up and in. Austin Breidenbach scores. And the Mustangs lead 2-0. 6.40 to go, opening quarter. Hirschfeld bounce pass to Nichols, right baseline, double team. Swings it back out on the bounce to Mount. Mount back out to Nichols. Nichols fade, shoots, scores on the right baseline over McBride. Game is deadlocked at two. B Diggers apply the pressure. McBride, front court pass, take it over there by Breidenbach. Breidenbach on the outside right, jump pass to Garber. Garber on the high left, down low for Breidenbach, and then he's fouled as he tried to put it up to the line as Breidenbach. The B Digger foul was committed by Trent Mount. And Breidenbach to the line to shoot a deuce. Live in your world, learn in ours at Northeastern. Free throws off to the left for more information about Northeastern or classes available to you. Go to njc.edu. Second free throw is up and in. 3-2 to two, Fort Morgan. 6-12 to go in the first. Dunker just beyond midcourt against Gertner. Dribbles to his right. There's a foul and Gertner. He reached in. First foul committed by the Mustangs. Yeah, he's not happy about that, especially committing the foul 40 feet away from the basket. Hirschfeld to trigger it in. Over to Mount, just beyond midcourt. Mount dribbles to his left against Garber. Dribbles by Garber. Jump pass inside intended for Leachman. Garber catches up and picks it off. And then stolen by Mount over to Leachman. Jump pass to Mount. He banks and he misses. And the ball is rebounded by Garber. Then we get a whistle and a foul in the backcourt against Brush. Mount commits his second. Yeah, Mount had to finish off that play, did not. He kind of threw it up there instead of shot it off the steal. 3-2, to two, Fort Morgan. Here comes Grayson Garver across the timeline against Nichols. Dribbles to his right, picks up the dribble. Left for McBride who dunks! Trey McBride on the alley-oop! Throws it down! And the Mustangs lead 5-2. to two. That was beautiful. Dunker jump pass to Nichols in the right corner. Nichols inside to Mount. Mount and was, oh, he lost the ball. Thought he was fouled there. Mount did. He went flying. That is four turnovers against Brush. Here comes Adrian Lopez in for Trent Mount. With the beat diggers trailing by three. And the Mustangs electrifying the crowd. On the alley-oop from Garber to McBride. Here's Garber tripped up by Leachman. Far away from the basket on that right wing. Leachman with his first foul. And to throw it in will be Kemble. Kemble to Garver in the backcourt. Now crosses midcourt. On the outside left to Gertner. Against Nichols. Left corner for McBride. McBride dribbles to his right. Left of the lane. Spins it. Left corner. Garver three is off the bottom of the net. But it's taken away by Kemble of Fort Morgan. Kemble to Breidenbach. Steps in. 14-footer. Yes. Austin Breidenbach scores. He's got five. The lead is five. Seven to two. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. Hirschfeld, a dunker. Left corner for Hirschfeld. Bounce pass to Leachman. Reversed uh, pass. Tried to go for the layup. And Nichols banks and misses. He's fouled. I thought he was going to put it up. And he passed it at the last second. McBride with his first foul. And now Aaron Nichols to the line to shoot two. Nichols bends, shoots, scores first free throw is in better quality, better service, better results it's better electric also the home of Sterling Trailers your Big Tech's headquarters 7-3 to three, now the lead for Fort Morgan second free throw, yes 7-4 Garver pressured in the backcourt. Baseball pass. Front court to Gertner. Gertner with Leachman to beat. He's going to feed Bryden back. Back out to Kemble. Three in the air. Off the front of the rim. Long rebound to Bryden back. He leans. He kicks it back out. Wide open. Garver three. That is well short. 
Rebound is taken away there by Fort Morgan and Connor Shaver into the game. Here is Kemble inside, hooks it up and in! Tate Kemble for two. Big rebounding certainly helped out there. Nine to four, Dunker left baseline. Looking, spinning. Kicks it back out to Adrian Lopez. Lopez left of the lane, jump pass towards Dunker on the left baseline, foul by Gertner. That's going to be Gertner's second foul. And he's going to take a seat on the bench in favor of Drew Gherkin. Well, not yet. Now yeah, they should let him in any second. Well, Adrian Lopez still in the game because Aaron Williams wants to come in. I don't know what's happening here. There we go. You got to check in at the right time. So brush basketball, 4.14 to go, first quarter, 9-4 to four in favor of Fort Morgan. Dunker in the front court, underneath the basket, left corner, Hirschfeld off the pass, the threes off the bottom of the rim, and the rebound to Breidenbach, that's already his third. Long pass towards Kemble, ball is knocked away, Kemble gets it back on the floor, he's going to feed Gherkin. Back out to Garver, now Breidenbach fakes the three, dribbles into the lane, jump pass over to Shaver, now to Gherkin at the free throw line, check that, that is Garver. Now with the basketball on the outside right, three in the air is off the back of the rim, missed by Gherkin. Ball is tipped by Kemble all the way into the hands of Garver. Nice job by Kemble. Here's a 15-footer by Garver. Front rim, no. And then the rebound and put back is missed, but a foul. Connor Shaver was fouled, I think, by Lopez. Yep. So free throws to be attempted by Connor Shaver. Ray McBride, by the way, taking a seat on the bench. The free throw is around and good. And the Mustang lead is 6, 10 to 4. High Plains Bank offers a wide variety of products that can be customized to fit your individual needs. See what over a century of customer service can do for, uh, can do for you, that is, at High Plains Bank and Wiggins. Second free throw is upcoming. Good. Shaver nails both for Fort Morgan, 11 to 4. Trevor Link in for the Mustangs. There's B.J. Hirschfeld. Hirschfeld, chest pass, left wing to Dunker. Dunker into the lane, bounce pass to Williams all the way. Had the shot blocked by Gherkin. Ball is loose out of bounds. It'll stay with Brush. And to throw it in will be Dunker. Dunker on the outside left. Lopez, the three... It's an air ball, and it's out of bounds, or does it chase down? We're being blocked out here. It's off of Brush. A B-Digger tried to chase it down in Williams. Four Morgan basketball, and the B-Diggers have suffered from that over the first four games. They just can't they can't shoot, can't knock it down. Campbell the other way for the Mustangs. On the outside left here is Gherkin, cross-court pass. Over to Campbell. Campbell with a basketball. Now to Gherkin, to Trevor Shirtliff into the game. Shirtliff, jump pass. Back out to Kemble, right wing three, off the front of the rim. The ball is tipped by McBride, who checked back in, but Lopez has the rebound for Brush. Lopez on the outside, left to Dunker, left of the lane, jump pass, and there's a foul on that pass towards the right corner. And I think that was Drew Gherkin, it was. Eddie Garcia checks in for Brush. Dunker to trigger it in. Over to Lopez. Lopez in the left corner. Bounce pass towards Garcia. Knocked away. And then it's loose. Williams picks it up. And his bounce pass towards Leachman went out of bounds. Turnover number five for Brush. And they've only got four points. The Mustangs come the other way. Tate Kimball at the top of the basketball. Kimball over to Shirtliff. On the outside left, Gherkin. Gherkin looking for McBride. Well covered. At the free throw line for Link. Back out. Here's Kemble. Kemble's fouled on the drive to the basket by Williams. And the B-Diggers have now committed five team fouls along with Fort Morgan. 2.35 to go in the opening quarter. And the Mustangs are in the lead 11-4. The lob into McBride. Puts it up and in. And he's fouled. Perfect lob into McBride from Kemble. And he was fouled 
as he made the shot from about two feet away. He goes to the line. Lopez with a second foul. McBride can make it a 10-point lead for the Mustangs. Free throw is up, and it's short, and the ball is volleyballed into the hands of Noah Leachman. Leachman on the outlet to Dunker. Here's Garcia to Dunker. Dunker in the lane over to Leachman. On the left wing, takes a three, and that's off the back of the rim. But the rebound is tipped to McBride. McBride with Lopez to beat is fouled by Lopez. I guess he had no choice there. If not, it would have been an easy bucket. Aaron Nichols going to check in. Lopez again with his third. And Fort Morgan already at the free throw line. 18 fouls by Brush. Could be a long first half. So McBride to shoot the one and one. He missed just moments ago. This free throws up and in and out and in. When buying a mixer or feeder truck, nothing compares to the MMI design craftsmanship and service. 842-5161 MMI International. Second free throw upcoming. That is up and that's in. 15 to 4 in favor of the Mustangs. Lopez in the front court bounce pass to Garcia. Swings it at the top for Mount. Then he threw it about five feet over the head of Williams. That's why you don't throw overhead passes like it's soccer. Tyrone Whipple not happy at all. He calls a timeout. Six turnovers for Brush. Timeouts brought to you by Greg Mona State Farm Insurance, Home Auto Life and Health. State Farm Insurance is there for you and your family, 842-4555. So with 2.22 to go, it will be Fort Morgan basketball leading by 11. So far for the Mustangs, they're led by Trey McBride, 6. Aaron Nichols has four. And those are the only points that Brush has scored. And again, offense has been their challenge. Last night against Sterling, they scored just 27 points. And that was coming off a 42-point game a week ago yesterday against Strasburg. Williams, Garcia, Nichols, Lopez, and Mounts for Brush. McBride, Link, Gherkin, Shirtliff, and Campbell for Fort Morgan. Mustangs to throw it in. Shirtliff to trigger it in. In the backcourt to Campbell. Campbell brings it across, dribbles by Garcia. Now Garcia catches up. On the outside right to Shirtliff. In the right corner for McBride against Mound. Dribbling to his left. Triple team. Right corner, Kemble, wide open three, is off the back of the rim, but the ball's chased down by Gherkin. Fort Morgan resets, Gherkin travels. Turnover number three for the Mustangs. B Digger basketball down by 11, with just over two minutes to go in the opening quarter. Austin Bryden back, back in. And let's see. It'll be Lopez to throw it in backcourt to Mount with pressure being applied. Now to Garcia. Still in the backcourt. Front court pass to Mount. He's fouled along the baseline. That'll be the 15th foul. The first. Oh, that was Gherkin. Yep. Second against him. Connor Shaver back into the game. And Chad Unrein's making a ton of substitutions, trying to keep fresh bodies in there. B-Digger basketball, thrown into Garcia. Garcia to the top, left wing to Lopez, left corner for Williams. Williams swings it back out to Garcia. Garcia left of the lane, backs up. It's going to feed Mount. Mount to the free throw line for Nichols. 15-footer is around and no good. Austin Bryan back with his fourth rebound. The outlet is bobbled away and taken away by the B-Diggers. Here comes Williams. Williams bounce pass inside. That's intercepted by Shaver. Then a baseball pass is thrown out of bounds at midcourt by Grayson Garver. 
So in a span of 15 seconds, we had two turnovers there by Fort Morgan, one by Brush. Here's Adrian Lopez for the Bee Diggers with a minute 23 to go. On the right side to Mount. Cross-court pass to Nichols. Nichols left of the lane, left corner for Lopez against Trevor Link. Swings it left of the lane now for Nichols. Left corner for Lopez. Penetrates left baseline. Scoops it up. Misses, but he's fouled by Connor Shaver. The minute nine to go here in the first. Your GMC Chevrolet and Buick sales and service provider pre-owned super centers. Ready to serve you in Sterling, Yuma, Julesburg, and Fort Morgan. That's Corf Continental on the web at CorfAutoGroup.com. The free throw by Lopez is off to the left. Here comes free throw number two. Second free throw by Lopez as he bounces, bends, shoots, and connects. Mustang lead is 10, 15 to 5. Kemba long pass front court to Link on the right baseline. Dribbles to his left. Looking, looking. Swings it back out towards Kemba. Cross court to Bryden back at the free throw line. Had it stripped away. Got it back. Ball tipped by Shaver. Now to Garver. Garver over to Bryden back. 53 seconds to go. Opening quarter. Fort Morgan by 10. Jump pass to Link. Link. Right of the lane to Shaver. And he traveled. Turnover number 6 for the Mustangs. Here come the bead diggers the other way with 45 seconds to go. Adrian Lopez on the right side with the basketball. That's Diego Lopez now into the game over to Mount to Garcia. Garcia jump past to Nichols left corner. Penetrates left baseline. Spins. Turns. Wants to shoot. Does from about seven. It's an air ball. Breidenbach has it. Long baseball pass intercepted by Adrian Lopez. And then we got a whistle. And I believe it's a kicking violation. It is against Connor Shaver off the pass. Brush basketball. Mount the other way. 19 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Mount lost it, got it back. Swings it right side for Diego Lopez. Spins it a lane, and then he travels. 11.9 seconds to go. Shaver to throw it in in the backcourt. Over to Kimball. Kimball now to Link. Front court pass taken by Garver with six dribbles right baseline. Jump pass straight away. Kimball 17 footer. Front rim no. Brian back with a rebound. Over to Kimball at the buzzer. No. Off to the left. That's the end of the opening quarter. We have played eight minutes of basketball in Brush in the boys game. It is Fort Morgan 15. Brush 5. This is Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. It's a 15-5 Fort Morgan lead in the second of two games. The Brush Girls won tonight, 41-33. The B-Diggers will have the basketball. Aaron Nichols, Trent Mount, Ryan Dunker, B.J. Hirschfeld, and Noah Leachman. Here's Hirschfeld right of the lane. Now to Leachman, right baseline all the way, scoops it up, and he misses. Trey McBride grabs the rebound for Fort Morgan. McBride into the front court to Breidenbach. Out there with Grayson Garver, Nate Gertner, and with a basketball, Tate Kemble. Kemble at the top. Left side to Gertner. Gertner against Nichols. Left corner for McBride. Dribbles to his right. Back near the timeline to Gertner. Now to McBride. Fakes a three. Dribbles towards the left baseline. Kicks it out to Garver. Straight away three-pointer is off the bottom of the rim. Put up and in by Breidenbach and a foul. The end one as Breidenbach goes to the line. Noah Leishman commits the foul for Brush. That's his second. Breidenbach has been a terror on the boards. He's got seven already. Free throw back rimmed it. Aaron Nichols grabs the Brush rebound. 17-5 to five, Fort Morgan. Mount dribbling right base on all the way. Has the shot blocked out of bounds. Oh, they called the foul on Kimball. That looked like all ball. I think the B-Diggers got a huge break there as Mount will go to the stripe. Man, had to have been the body. Campbell commits his first. Trent Mount to shoot a deuce for Brush. The junior shoots and misses off to the left. 
Second free throw upcoming. Free throw line can be a very lonely place. And intimidating as well. That one is up. That one is in. 17-6. Backcourt pressure applied. McBride with a basketball over to Bryden back. Front court to Garver. Jump pass to Kemble. Bounce pass to Gertner off his right hand. Taken in the corner now by Garver. And then he was pushed out of bounds by Dunker. Now we're going to see lots of free throws in this quarter. Dunker with a second. Four beat diggers have at least two fouls. Tenth team foul. That's a double bonus already. And Grayson Garver, who did not score in the opening quarter, has got a shot early on in the second. To nail two. Buildings by Design has the experience to complete your project from start to finish. Get the quality you deserve in your building by starting your build project right. Start with Buildings by Design. First free throw by Garver is good. Second free throw is up and around and no good. Aaron Nichols with his third rebound for Brush. There's the outlet to Mount in the right corner for Leachman and then he traveled. Yep, when you're the big man, if you're dribbling and you're about 15 feet away from the basket, that might be a problem. For Leachman there, he commits the miscue. 18-6, to six, Fort Morgan, 6.57 to go, second quarter. Reverse layup, up and in by McBride, dribbling down the left baseline, and then he fooled the B-Digger defense. McBride now with eight, it's 20-6. to six. The entry pass towards Leachman, knocked away. Nichols picks it up. He leans, shoots, misses off to the left, put back up and in. Off the glass by Leachman. His first points of the game, it's 20-8. to eight. Garver, front court pass. Here's Gertner, middle of the lane, swings it towards McBride off his right shoulder after it was initially tipped. Taken by Hirschfeld, a brush. Hirschfeld the other way with a basketball. And then that ball stripped by McBride. And then he he tripped himself up and fell down. He wanted to dunk it. And then Garver banked it in off the loose ball. An odd play there. And now we have a traveling violation in the front court by the B-Diggers again. This game has gotten very sloppy. 22-8 Fort Morgan. Dunker, uh, check that... Uh, McBride was going in for the dunk and he tripped himself up with nobody around him. But Garver picked up the loose change. I think he was trying to time his dunk and that's what his feet got confused, so to speak. Garver to Kemble across the timeline. Left wing, Gertner, three in the air. Yes, Nate Gertner with a triple. It's blowout city here for the Mustangs. They lead by 17, 25 to 8. Mountain jump pass to Dunker, right side to Lopez, towards the right corner, tipped away, taken by Nichols, though. And then Nichols had his foot on the line. All of a sudden, the B-Diggers have committed 12 turnovers and scored just 8 points. And trail by 17. Timeout called by head coach Tyrone Whipple of the B-Diggers. Full timeout. It's brought to you by Greg Mon at State Farm Insurance, home auto life and health, State Farm Insurance. Is there for you and your family, 842-4555. And the Mustangs keep this up. They're going to be on pace to win this game by about 30 points. And Brush has got to figure out something quickly. Very quickly. As there is no doubt that this Fort Morgan team has come to play tonight. After the Brush girls won 41-33. Four Morgan boys led after 115 to 5. And Trey McBride has scored as many points as the Brush team. And he's got an alley oop dunk tonight as well. Leachman, Adrian Lopez, Ryan Dunker, Trenton out, and Aaron Nichols for Brush. Austin Breinbach, Nate Gertner, Tate Kemble, along with Connor Shaver and. Grayson Garver for the Mustangs. For Morgan basketball, Garver in the backcourt to Kimball, crossing midcourt against Lopez. Between his legs, swings it right corner for Bryden back, offensive foul, illegal screen by Connor Shaver. His second foul, it's the team's ninth turnover. The Bay Diggers have 12 in the game. Mount to Dunker with backcourt pressure. And then he's fouled by Garver. Well, that's going to be one and one. 
So Ryan Dunker to shoot one and maybe a second. And a very methodical moving first half. Ryan Dunker, the sophomore, shoots and misses off the back of the rim. Nate Gertner grabs the rebound for the Mustangs, and then he falls to the floor. Gets it to Kemble, though. Kemble throws it away. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is unwatchable basketball. And that might sound like an opinion, but in 2 minutes and 28 seconds of the second quarter, there have been 13 turnovers committed. And sometimes you see that for an entire two quarters combined. Then the entry pass towards Leachman, tipped away, intercepted by Kemble. Both teams have seven turnovers in the quarter. We played two minutes and 49 seconds. Here is Brian back, right corner, jump pass, back out to Kemble, left wing for Gertner, penetrates left baseline, leans, banks, misses. The rebound to Gertner, falls down, that's a travel. Which is another turnover. As he had full control of that basketball. And the bead diggers to throw it in in the backcourt. Lopez in the backcourt to Dunker being pressured by Gertner. Swings it back out to Hirschfeld. Now Lopez. And then Lopez collides with Bryden back. That'll be a blocking foul. Both teams are in the double bonus with over five minutes to go. Bryden back commits his first foul. And we are coming up on the top of the hour here from Brush High School. 25 to 8, Fort Morgan. Two free throws for Adrian Lopez. Free throws off the back of the rim. This is KPRB, Brush Fort Morgan, also known as Morgan County's B106. And we're on the web at B106.com. McBride took a breather for a few seconds. He's back in. Reed Hall making his first appearance for Brush. And Noah Leachman is now out. Lopez to shoot a second free throw. Yeah, the bead diggers have athletes, but shooters, at least not to this point of the season, that free throw is in. For Morgan leads by 16, 25 to 9. Garber, backcourt to Brian back, now to McBride, crosses the timeline. McBride bounce pass to Kemble all the way, scoops it up, blocked by Nichols who comes away with a basketball. Nichols to Lopez, fouled by Garver in the backcourt. Garver now with a second foul. That's tremendous defense here by Aaron Nichols against Tate Kemble. Now two free throws again for Lopez. Well, at some point, they got to stop fouling. If not, we're going to have disqualifications by the third quarter. No player has more than two fouls except Lopez, who's at the line, ironically. And his free throws in. Trevor Link checks in for a grace at Garber. Breidenbach is out, and now Drew Gherkin is back in for Fort Morgan. 25-10 to 10 in favor of the Mustangs. Second free throw, Adrian Lopez in the air, and a round and good. 25-11. to 11. Campbell in the backcourt against Lopez. Campbell into the front court at the top. Between his legs, falls down, but maintains his dribble. And then a traveling violation on Trevor Link in the corner. Turnover number nine in the quarter for Fort Morgan. We're not even halfway through the quarter. Lopez into the front court. Jump pass right corner for Nichols. Back out to Lopez. Takes a right wing three. Short. Rebound. Nichols banks and scores. Nichols snuck into the left of the basket. Aaron Nichols now has six along with five rebounds, a 12-point game. Here's Gherkin into the lane all the way. He's fouled on the floor. Two free throws, though, because of the double bonus situation. That's Lopez with his fourth. If nobody fouls out in this game, I'd be shocked. I mean, I don't care how many players you rotate. We've got about... I'll count them, but I think we got 22 fouls called so far. The free throw by Gherkin is perfect. Dunker in for Lopez, who has committed four fouls in the first 11 minutes and 41 seconds of the game, so I don't know when he's going to come back in. Second free throw is up and in. Dunker 
Into the front court, bounce pass, right corner, mounts, wide open three, in and out. And the ball is tipped out of bounds, it's off Kimball. Bead Diggers retain possession, trailing by 14, 27, 13, 4, 11 to go second quarter. Grayson Garber was out momentarily, he's in for Drew Gherkin. And Dunker will throw it in underneath the basket. Swings it left corner, Mount fakes a three, penetrates, and then his bounce pass tipped away. Hirschfeld flags it down and then throws it to Mount on the high left. Back out to Hirschfeld, free throw line for Nichols all the way, scoops it up and in! Nichols with a two dribble drive to the basket. He scores again, he's got eight. 27 15, the B Diggers trying to climb back in. McBride in the backcourt, front court pass taken by Garber in the right corner. Garber with a basketball, baseball pass to Link, straight away to McBride, into the lane, kicks it back out. Gertner left handed three is missed, and then the ball is loose, and it's rebounded there by Aaron Nichols, a sixth. There's the outlet to Dunker. Dunker, 335 to go. Spinning on the right baseline. Dunker, baseball pass, cross court. Hirschfeld shot is up and in and out. 15 footer missed. McBride with a rebound for Fort Morgan. McBride grabs his third. There's the outlet to Garver. Middle of the lane, all the way. Leans, banks, misses. Offensive foul, Grayson Garver. Garver commits his third foul of the game. For Morgan with their 10th turnover of the quarter, 13th of the game. Austin Breidenbach checking back in. All right, the Mustangs have seven players on the floor, now down to five. And Hirschfeld to throw it in. Eddie Garcia in for Brush. And Noah Leachman back in for the Bead Diggers. Here's Garcia to Dunker. 27-15. Fort Morgan has the lead. Brush with a basketball. Bounce pass inside. Boy, I don't know. There was no lane there. Intended for Mount. Intercepted by McBride. Here's Brian back. Left corner. Bounce pass here for McBride in the lane. Leans, banks, misses. Ball is loose on the floor. Dunker has it. And gets it over to Leachman. Dunker was flat on his back. Here's Dunker from Garcia. Crossing the timeline. Dunker was fouled on the right baseline by Gertner. So a lot of fouls in this one. Ryan Dunker to shoot two. Luis Garcia in for Fort Morgan. Free throw is good. Second free throw for Dunker. First point of the game. That's up. And he missed that one. Back rim. Rebound to Kimball. Kimball, long pass to Garcia, banks and misses, but he's fouled. <laughs> fouled by Mount. Mount with his third. And Luis Garcia to the line. Free throws up and back rimmed it. Aaron Williams back in with Diego Lopez. I felt like I've been here for like four basketball games. This is amazing. Three, four, five, eight, nine, eleven, thirteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-five fouls called here in the opening half. Garcia makes the second, 28-16. Ryan Dunker with 249 to go. In the left corner for Williams, steps in, bounce pass to Leachman. Leachman dribbles, spins, turns. Loses it, gets it back, and scores off the glass. Leachman now with force, down to a 10 point lead for the Mustangs, 28 to 18. Riding back in the backcourt, jump pass to Kemble. Kemble into the front court, middle of the lane, all the way, defender in the air, then he traveled. 14 turnovers for Fort Morgan, 11 in the quarter. Rush can make this a single digit game. Here's Dunker with 223 to go. Before the break, and we need a break. Jump pass to Diego Lopez, and he traveled. Wow. I wish I was joking. 15 turnovers for Brush. 29 combined in the opening half. To go along with 38 total points. Make it 46 points. Kimball. Into the front court. Dribbles left of the lane. Now retreats towards the top. On the outside right to Garcia. Right corner for McBride, puts up a three, and that's well off to the right. Long rebound to Eddie Garcia, a brush. 
There's the outlet to Dunker, under two minutes to go. Dunker, right baseline to Williams. Back out towards Dunker, ball's tipped away out of bounds. B-Diggers retain possession. And let's see who throws it in. Dunker into Lopez, that's Diego Lopez. To his right to Dunker. Dunker into the lane, puts up a runner, no good, but he's fouled. He had nothing but glass. But a strong move by the sophomore. Drew Gherkin commits his third. And Ryan Dunker back at the stripe where he's one out of three. Gherkin is now out. Connor Shaver back in. Aaron Nichols replaces Noah Leachman. So here is Ryan Dunker to shoot two. Spins, shoots, and connects. Players were going for a rebound, but we've been at the double bonus for a while. The B-Diggers are within single digits, 28-19. Second free throw is up and in. Nope, violation against the B-Diggers. No free throw. Twenty-eight nineteen. Here's Kemble in the backcourt with a basketball for Fort Morgan off the inbounds pass. Now crosses midcourt. Kemble crossover dribble left of the lane at the free throw line. Into the lane. All the way. Scoops it up off the glass and misses. Aaron Nichols with a brush rebound is seventh. There's the outlet to Dunker. Dunker right of the lane. Dribbles all the way. Wild hook shot is missed. And taken away by the strong Trey McBride. Long pass to Garcia. Lays it up and he misses but he's fouled by Eddie Garcia. Luis Garcia back to the stripe. There is Garcia to shoot two. And this quarter of basketball has been unbelievably sloppy. And foul filled free throw, yes. Garcia now with two. Leachman back in for Nichols. Nope. For Williams, Nichols and Leachman on the floor at the same time. Second free throw is up and in. The Mustangs 30, the B-Diggers 19. Dunker with a minute 18 to go. In the second, all the way. Was fouled along the baseline by Kimball as he tried to put up a shot. Kimball with his second. Two free throws for Ryan Dunker. Yeah, I have, yeah, how is nobody going to foul out of this game? We're approaching 30 fouls here committed in the opening half. Free throw is up and good. Dunker with three points. Connor Shaver back in for Fort Morgan. B.J. Hurst fell for brush. Fort Morgan 30, brush 20. Marcus Contreras is in for the Bee Diggers. Second free throw by Dunker is up and in. Well, once again, it's a nine point game, 30 to 21. Minute 10 to go. Let's even go a whole 30 seconds without a foul. Brian back right of the lane, leans all the way, scoops it up, and misses. Air ball, ball tipped out of bounds by Shaver. It will be beat digger basketball. They could draw to within seven or maybe even six with a three-pointer. Ryan Dunker for Brush. Met by Garcia at the top. Dunker into the lane. Over to Nichols. 15-footer left baseline is well short. And then we have a foul by Contreras. So the answer is no. He can't go 30 seconds. As Brian back grabbed the rebound. Two free throws here for Brian back. That'll be another heavy total. Fort Morgan only has nine field goals. And now 32 points because the first free throw is in. 31-21. Second free throw for Brideback is up and around and good. 
11 point game, 51 seconds to go in the second. Dunker into the lane, back out to Nichols, straight away to Hirschfeld, left corner Contreras, and he travels. Both teams have committed double digit turnovers in the second quarter. Rush with 10, Fort Morgan with 11. Inbounds pass to Breidenbach with 43 seconds to go. Breidenbach bounce pass to McBride. Looked like he traveled, then he banks and scores. Trey now has 10 in the game, 34-21. Nichols with the basketball, dribbles to his left, right of the lane, had it stripped, got it back. Turns, kicks it back out to Leachman, left baseline, 12-footer over McBride is no good. Strong rebound, McBride, beautiful baseball pass to Breidenbach who banks and scores. Trey McBride did it all there. 36-21, and then Leachman traveled. He traveled in the front court off a long pass. All of a sudden, the Mustangs are on a 6-0 run. Timeout, Chad Unrein. So the Mustangs call that timeout with only 14.8 seconds to go. Timeout is brought to you by Ehrlich Toyota East. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new or pre-owned vehicle, early Toyota East in Fort Morgan will fit you into the car truck of your choice, serving all of Northeast Colorado. That's early Toyota East. 36-21. And man, I think this first half has taken close to an hour. I think that's fairly accurate. Close to an hour to play in the first half. Might sound exaggerated, but I, wow, with a number of free throws and fouls. There's the inbounds pass to Kemble in the backcourt. On the outside left to Garcia, six seconds to go. Swings it to McBride, McBride fakes it. Right corner shot is up, and that is no good. Aaron Nichols grabs the rebound. It was missed by Michael Lauk. That's the end of the opening half, a very long half. With the score, Fort Morgan, 36. And the Brush Bee Diggers, 21. It's time for a three-minute break on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Let's head to the second half. It's Fort Morgan 36, Brush 21. 16 more minutes of basketball tonight after the opening game saw Brush on the girls' side win 41-33. Ryan Dunker, B.J. Hirschfeld, Trent Mount, Noah Leachman, and Aaron Nichols for Brush. Let's see the Mustangs counter where they're still huddling. It'll be Austin Breidenbach, Grayson Garver, Nate Gertner, Trey McBride, and Tate Kemble. They're starting five. And Mustang basketball to begin the second. Yeah, the most exciting play of the night was an alley-oop from Garver to McBride. And he slammed it home in the opening quarter. Here's Grayson Garver against Hirschfeld. Between the legs, swings it right side for McBride. At the top for Garver, left wing for Breidenbach. Jump pass at the top for Kemble against Dunker. Dribbles to the free throw line, 15-footer, around and no good. Aaron Nichols grabs his ninth rebound. There's the outlet to Mount. Mount to the high right for a brush. Over to Nichols behind the three-point line on the outside left. Back to the right to Mount. Mount dribbling to his left, double teamed, and fouled by Gertner who went for the strip. Gertner has now committed four fouls. So Gertner and Adrian Lopez of Brush both have that many. And Drew Gherkin into the game now for Gertner for Fort Morgan. Pass into Dunker. Dunker on the high right against Gherkin. Bounce pass left side for Mount. Left corner, Hirschfeld, he'll take the shot. That's front rim, no. He struggled with that three. McGride grabs the rebound, but then he throws it away to Nichols, who banks and scores to the right of the basket. Turnover number 15 for Fort Morgan. 
McBride behind the three-point line against Leachman. Swings it left side for Gherkin. At the top now for Garber. 36-23, Fort Morgan. 6.52 to go, third quarter. Riding back, 12-footer right side, in and out. And the rebound into the hands of Noah Leachman, is third. There's the outlet to Mount. Rush can make this an 11-point game with a two, or with a three, make it a 10-point game. Dunker on the high left, directing traffic. Dunker at the top for Leachman. Takes a dribble. Swings it back out to Hirschfeld. Hirschfeld looking down low. Dribbles at the free throw line. Jump pass to Nichols. And Nichols traveled. Turnover number 18. For the Bee Diggers. Garber for Fort Morgan the other way. Picked up by Hirschfeld. Dribbles by Hirschfeld. His runner's up and his floater's no good. A little bit off to the right. Nichols with his 10th rebound. The outlet to Dunker. Dunker straight away in the lane. Collides. Offensive foul. Put his shoulder down and Gherkin took all the contact. Dunker with his third foul of the game. Rush with their 19th turnover. Now to throw it in is Tate Kimball. Here is Garber from Kemble. Across midcourt, right side, McBride fakes a three, steps in, lost a dribble, got the ball back, kicks it back out to Garber against Hirschfeld. High left to Breidenbach, that was a major travel, didn't call, then scoops it up, blocked by Leachman, taken away by Nichols. Nichols to Dunker, Dunker on the high left in the front court. Baseball pass to Hirschfeld, fakes the three, and then he traveled. Well, that's the same move Breidenbach made when he was called for the travel, or it wasn't. B. Diggers with 20 turnovers now in the game. Backcourt pass stripped by Hirschfeld out of bounds. It will stay with Fort Morgan. Backcourt pass into Garber. 5.40 to go, third quarter. 23 points for Brush, 36 for the Mustangs. On the outside left, McBride fakes the three dribbles. 16-foot pull-up is off the bottom of the rim. Ball out of bounds, it's off Gherkin. Now the Bee Diggers have possession. The Mustangs and Bee Diggers have combined for two points in the opening two minutes and 35 seconds of the second half. Nichols left baseline all the way. Leans has the shot blocked by McBride. Nichols gets it right back. Bounce pass to Hirschfeld. Three by Dunker. Back rimmed it. And the ball is rebounded by both Nichols and Gherkin. Tie up. Stays with Brush. A big rebounding night for Nichols now with 11. Mount to throw it in. Mount. Right corner, Hirschfeld takes the three. Throws up an air ball. He's really struggled with that. Long pass to Kemble. Lays it up and in. Tate Kemble now with four. 38-23, left corner, Nichols with the basketball. Nichols dribbles left baseline, spins on McBride, back out to Dunker. Dunker at the free throw line, cross-court pass, intercepted by Kemble. He's by himself, he'll lay it up and in. And the Bee Diggers with 21 turnovers. Kemble now has all four points in the quarter for the Mustangs, 40-22. to The other way here is Nichols, bounce pass, free throw line for Dunker. Dunker backs up, looking, spinning, back out to Mount, three in the air. Nowhere close, hit nothing but glass. Rebound to Kimball, stolen away by Nichols. Jump pass to Leachman, banks and scores and a foul. <laughs> to the line will be Noah Leachman. Tate Kimball commits his third. And let's see, Trevor Link will check in for Fort Morgan. Mustangs with a healthy lead, 40 to 25. Circle L Irrigation offers the latest in Valley Irrigation technology. Give them a call, 522-8816 in Sterling at 335 East Chestnut, Circle L Irrigation. Free throw, yes, by Noah Leachman. He's got seven. The lead is at 14, 40 to 26. Reed Hall back in for the Bee Diggers. Garber with 4.18 to go in the third. 
Bumps into Lopez, no whistles. Adrian's into the game, make it Diego. Middle of the lane, he scoops it up and in! Oh, the runner by Garber was a beauty. He's got five points, it's a 16 point lead. Dunker right side with the basketball, dribbling right baseline, his floater's up and no good, hit nothing but glass. Ryan back with a rebound, is ninth for Fort Morgan. Front court pass to Garber. Garber against Leachman at the top. Garber between his legs. Back out, faking the three as Gherkin stepping in. Kicks it back out to Link. Link left to the lane. Jump pass and an offensive foul. Trying to find McBride. Dunker took the contact. First foul committed by Link. And Nichols into the game for Leachman. Here comes Dunker the other way. Dunker on the outside left. On a three-point line, cross court to Hall. Back out to Diego Lopez. Lopez jump pass inside to Mount, scoops it up and in over McBride. A little floater by Mount. Three points for him, it's 42-28 Mustangs. 3.22 to go in the third. Garver against Mount straight away, left of the lane, and then he's fouled by Mount on the floor. No shot was taken anyway. You can't foul him anywhere else but the floor. That's the second team foul against the Beat Diggers. The Mustangs with three. Eddie Garcia will check in for Trent Mount. Three players now have four fouls in the game. Two for Brush, one for Fort Morgan. Garver is going to lob it towards the top to Link. Left wing, Breidenbach, wide open three. Yes, Austin Breidenbach. As 14 in the game, it's a 17 point lead for the Mustangs. Bounce pass, Dunker, poked away by McBride out of bounds. As retaining possession is Brush. And to throw it in will be Nichols. Swings it to Hall. Hall back out to Dunker. Dunker on the right wing gets a pick from Nichols. Looks for Nichols. Back out to Diego Lopez. Now to Dunker, right wing. Floats it up off the glass. No good. Rebound to Dunker. Dunker's going to have to kick it back out. And he dribbles out of traffic. Over to Lopez. Right wing to Hall. Hall to Eddie Garcia. On the outside left to Dunker. Three in the air. Off to the left. Ball is tipped into the hands of Nichols. And Nichols was fouled. Fourth foul against the Mustangs with two and a half to go in the third. Garver now has four fouls. Tate Kimball now checks in for Grayson Garver. Who will be the first player to foul out in this game? To throw it in will be Dunker. And let's see what we've got now. As the officials stop this game. I don't know if there's blood on a uniform or whatever the case is. Over at the scores table. Brenda Robinette, your farmer's agent, will work to provide unique customized coverage at an affordable price. 5221341, 5221341, Farmers Insurance Agency. AC Ice uh, proudly supports local high school sports. Throughout Northeast Colorado, when you need ice, don't settle for just any old frozen water. Get AC ice at any local grocery or convenience store near near you. Alley Hoop is tipped away, intercepted by Kimball. 22 turnovers for Brush. Brian back to McBride. He is balled by Lopez as he went up for a shot that he missed. McBride to the line. Diego Lopez with his first foul. What 217 to go in the third. And here is Ryan Dunker. He might have taken a... He's limping off the court and holding his nose as well. Dunker must have taken a shot in the back court. He's going to be headed over to the locker room. Are they just going to seat him? He does not look good. McBride. Yeah, it's his left sh shin maybe or ankle. Free throw is in. McBride with 11 in the game. Trey McBride. 
bends, shoots, misses short. Rebound to Diego Lopez of Brush. Lopez at the top, right side to Garcia. Left side now to Nichols. Nichols with 2.08 to go. Mustangs lead by 18. Diego Lopez left baseline. Leans, spins, cross court bounce pass. Nichols, 16 footer, good. Inside the three point line for Aaron Nichols. He's got 12 in the game. 46 30, Fort Morgan, a minute 50 to go. In the third. McBride left baseline, left corner. Wide open three by Gherkin as well, short. Nichols grabs his 13th rebound in the corner. Here's Diego Lopez, back out to Hirschfeld, straight away to Leachman, fakes the three, right of the lane, in the lane, banks, and misses short. Breidenbach grabs his 10th rebound, outlet to Kemble, three on three, Kemble at the free throw line, left corner for Gherkin, down low for McBride, back out to Gherkin, fakes the three, into the lane, all the way, scoops it up, and he's fouled as he misses. And looked like Hirschfeld got him across the wrist. So Drew Gherkin to shoot two. With a minute 21 remaining, third quarter. And it is 46 to 30 in favor of the Mustangs. Who led by 10 after one quarter. Free throw is up and in. 47 30. Connor Shavers in for Trey McBride. Aaron Williams for Brush. Replaces. Aaron Nichols. Second free throw for Gherkin is up and good. 48 to 30. B Diggers the other way. Leachman in the lane. Collided and then he missed it. And then he tried to slam it home and he fell short, got it back, and he missed it. He tried to slam it home and he didn't get his body all the way up there and he's hurt. But Leachman gets up. Here's Hirschfeld. Over to Lopez, and now they're making sure Leachman is okay. Yeah, but Leachman lost a shoe. He went up for the dunk, lost a shoe. That's why they stopped play. He's okay. Yep, he got stuffed by the rim, unfortunately. He couldn't get high enough. Reed Hall will check in for Noah Leachman. And Diego Lopez to trigger it in. Lopez three quarters court to Garcia. Garcia at the top, swings it left side for Hirschfeld. Cross court to Hall. Hall towards the right baseline, back out to Lopez. Lopez spinning to Hall. Hall to Adrian Lopez on the high right, to his left. Lopez spinning, looking. Back out towards Garcia, 45 seconds to go. Brushed down by 18. Lopez over to Reed Hall. Now to Hirschfeld, right of the lane, right wing to Garcia. Garcia straight away to Williams, 16-footer, around and no good. Drew Gherkin with a rebound for the Mustangs. They can take a 20-point lead. Campbell with the basketball, left corner link, fakes the three, and he travels. Turnover number 18. It will be B-Digger basketball with 25.9 seconds to go. In the third, another long quarter. Right corner, Hall. Back out to Lopez. Straight away, here's Williams. Inside towards Lopez. Ball batted out of bounds. It went off of Williams. Or checked that off of Link first and then Lopez. Turnover number 23 committed by Brush. Backcourt pass towards Kimball. Lost it, got it back. Now to Brighton back. Ten seconds to go. Crossing midcourt with eight. Middle of the lane. Bounce pass to Shaver. Ball knocked out of bounds by... Reed Hall on the block as he went up for the shot. Fort Morgan retains possession. 5.1 seconds to go. Campbell to throw it in. Campbell looking. Lobs it towards the top to Gherkin. Dribbles to his left. Left of the lane. Leans. Banks. Misses. Ball is tipped around. And that's the end of the quarter. Hirschfeld grabs it for the bead diggers. Well. We're going to head to quarter number four with the score. Fort Morgan 48, Brush 30. Let's take a one-minute break. This is Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Let's head to the fourth quarter. I'm John Beltran back from Brush High School. And the lead is 18, 48 to 30. 
for Fort Morgan. And they've got the basketball. It is Tate Kemble against Eddie Garcia in the front court. Kemble towards the left baseline. Ball knocked out of bounds. Actually intended for McBride. Went right through his hands. The turnover for the Mustangs is their 19th. Adrian Lopez the other way. Check it. It's Diego out there. Diego in the lane. Back to Nichols. Nichols has 13 rebounds in a night. Bounce pass to Leachman. He's fouled on the entry pass. 15 foul by Fort Morgan. That one was on Breidenbach, his second. Breidenbach leads all scorers with 14. Hirschfeld throws it in at the top for Lopez. 16-footer short. Rebound is tipped into the hands of Nichols. Banks and he misses. And then McBride has a long baseball pass to Breidenbach. Lays it up and in. What a pass by McBride. That was a thing of beauty. Breidenbach now with 16. Here is Leachman, left baseline, good from about 12. Leachman with 6, 50 to 32. Mustangs with an 18 point lead. Garver the other way to Gertner. At the top for Kimball. Kimball at the free throw line, leans, shoots, misses. Off the top of the backboard, McBride has it off the rebound, and now we got a whistle and a foul on Brush. Foul is on Diego Lopez. No players fouled out yet, even though we have four players with four fouls. Lob into McBride. Here's Gertner. Left wing, three. Kemble up. Good. Foul. Fouled by Eddie Garcia. This could be a four-point play for Tate Kemble. And the Mustangs are now breaking it wide open. Kemble has seven points in the second half. It is now 53-32 as the Mustangs lead by 21. Now the free throw and the four-point play for Kimball. It is up and it is no good. In and out. Adrian Lopez with four fouls grabs the rebound. Out to Mounts. His three in the air is off the front of the rim. The B-Diggers cannot find the bottom of the hole. Rebound to Tate Kimball. Jump pass to Gertner. Gertner spinning over to Kemble. Oh, and right through his hands. He was wide open, too. Right the other way. Lopez in the lane, spinning in the lane. Leaning, hooking, missing. McBride grabs his ninth rebound. McBride on the outlet to Garber. Six and a half to go. Here's Gertner left of the lane. Over to McBride. Right of the lane all the way. Leans, banks, scores. Trey McBride now with 13. 55-32. Garcia. Adrian Lopez, here's Mount at the top for Leachman. Leachman straight away three, and that's off the back of the rim. Austin Breidenbach grabs his 11th board. There's the outlet to McBride, and he scoops it up and in. Thought about the dunk. McBride had the defense beaten, 57-32. It's now a 7-0 run for the Mustangs. Three by Mount, I mean, they missed everything. They haven't hit a three yet. Breidenbach with another rebound. Breidenbach, middle of the lane, double dribbled. Breidenbach's had a huge game here. 16 points and 12 rebounds. Adrian Lopez to throw it in. Leachman is out. If you can't shoot from the outside, you have no shot of winning. Unless you have just horses down low. Who perform consistently well. Brush is down by 25. The lob towards Nichols. He went the other way. Intercepted by McBride. He's going to lay it up and in. McBride, coast to coast. The Bay Diggers now with 24 turnovers. Jump pass to Eddie Garcia. 9-0 run. And their pass is tipped away by McBride. He couldn't keep it in bounds. I assume the head coach Chad Unrein is going to have McBride sit the next minute. He's putting on a clinic and he wants to keep him healthy. Shot is up and in by Nichols. On the left baseline off the inbounds pass. He's had a good game with 14 points and 14 rebounds. Garver the other way into the front court. Cross court to Kimball. Backs up, 10 footer, yes. On the right baseline, Tate Kimball. Nine points and a half, 11 in the game, 61 34. Aaron Nichols left baseline against McBride. Back out to Mount. Mount dribbling to his left. 
Pulls up from 12. That's an air ball. Rebound to Gertner. Gertner backcourt pass to Garver behind his back. 4.37 to go. Mustangs by 27. Gertner on the right side to McBride on the baseline. Spinning on Nichols. Turning, leaning, shooting, missing. Foul on Brush. McBride to the line. Aaron Nichols commits his first foul. And here is Trey McBride from the line. Fort Morgan had a 29-point victory over Summit. Their only win of the year. They're about to do some damage here. Similarly against Brush. First free throw is in. 62-34. Second free throw of Cubby. By Trey McBride. That's in the air and short. Aaron Nichols. What a game he's had. I mean, 15 rebounds tonight. And then the shot by Mount is no good from the left corner. Rebound to Hirschfeld. Back out to Diego Lopez. Here's Hirschfeld. Right corner shot is up. No good. It's inside the three-point line. And Link has the rebound for Fort Morgan. Here is Kemble. Middle of the lane all the way. Leans, banks, misses. Noah Leachman. Well, the rebound for Brush is sixth. There's the outlet to Diego Lopez. Three in the air. Nope. Long rebound to McBride. Long pass to Breidenbach. This will be an easy layup. Off the glass for Breidenbach. McBride with his 10th rebound. Breidenbach scores. Timeout by Fort Morgan. Chad Unrein called it. 64-34, 3.51 to go. Timeout brought to you by Ehrlich Toyota East. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new or pre-owned vehicle, Ehrlich Toyota East in Fort Morgan will fit you into the car truck of your choice. Serving all of Northeast Colorado, Ehrlich Toyota East. They put on a clinic in the fourth. 16-4 run by the Mustangs. An 18-point lead is now 30. Still have 3.51 to go. It's been a very rough two nights for Brush. They lost by 27 against Sterling last night. And now they're getting it handed to them on their home floor against Fort Morgan. Now let's see what they could do here in the final 351. Try to salvage something from this game. Because it has been nothing but frustrating here. For the Brush Bee Diggers. Leachman, Nichols, Adrian Lopez, Diego Lopez, and Aaron Williams for Brush. They'll have the basketball. Connor Shaver, Austin Breidbach, Tate Kimball, Trevor Shirtliff, and Trevor Link for Fort Morgan. Here's Adrian Lopez. Over to Mount. Mount dribbles to his left. Left corner, Leachman three. Nope, that's short. Foul over the back against Aaron Williams. The team's eighth. His second. Well, let's not get to the free throw game here. Brush has taken just one free throw in the second half. Fort Morgan has taken six. We had 35 combined free throws in the opening half. Link to the line for the one and one. Free throw is up. Free throw is in. Link scores for the first time in the game. Here comes Reed Hall. Replacing Noah Leachman. Second free throw. Is up, and that's perfect. 66-34. Adrian Lopez the other way. Puts up a wild shot, misses. Rebound to Link. Outlet pass to Shirtliff. All the way, scoops it up, and he misses. That was goaltending on Nichols. They're going to count that one. Nichols pinned it up against the glass after it hit the glass. Excellent call there by the official. Give the bucket to Trevor Shirtliff. 
68-34. This game cannot end soon enough with your brush. I don't know how many threes they've taken. I'm going to guess they're all out of about 12. Cross court pass to Nichols off the glass, and he scores. Nice shot by Nichols from about 13 feet away. He's got 16. And then Trent Mount goes diving for a basketball, goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Fort Morgan. Rush is down by 32. Inbounds pass to Kemble. Kemble crossing the timeline. Jump pass to Bryden back against Nichols on the outside right. Into Kemble at the free throw line. Kemble spins. Back out to Bryden back. Dribbles right baseline. And we've got a whistle and a foul against Brush. Foul was committed by Nichols. One and one for Bryden back. Nice game tonight for Bryden back. Riding back with 19 points and 13 rebounds. In and out. Leachman grabs the rebound off the missed free throw. There's the outlet to Adrian Lopez. Over to Williams inside the three-point line. Misses it on the baseline. Tip by Leachman. No good. Puts it back up and scores. And he's fouled. So Leachman to shoot one. Connor Shaver commits his third. Marcus Contreras will check in for Brush. For Aaron Williams. Free throw is up and in. Leachman now has 10. 68-39. Bryden back the other way. 2.48 to go. On the right baseline, kicks it back out towards Shirtlift near the timeline. Against Mount, Shirtlift to his right, crossover dribble, dribble the ball off his foot. It's in the back court and tipped away by Mount out of bounds. It stays with Fort Morgan. Oh, no over and back. Shaver to throw it in. The 2.38 to go. And now, looks like Michael Lauk and for Fort Morgan. Shaver, bounce pass into Drew Gherkin, middle of the lane. Back out, the three is up and missed in the right wing by Molly. But check that by uh, Trevor Link, Molly's the sister. And now we got a whistle and a foul. Noah Leachman commits his third. And Drew Gherkin back at the line. We're back to where we were with all these free throws. Now double bonus. Gherkin with four in the game. Free throws up and in. Well, they're going to hit 70 if they make this one. It's 30-point lead again. Aaron Nichols in for Reed Hall. Nichols has 16 points and 15 rebounds for Brush. That's up. That's good. Eddie Garcia. Now in for Brush. 70 to 39. 226 to go. Here's Adrian Lopez. Jump pass to Contreras and he traveled. The B Diggers have committed their 25th turnover of the game. Tyrone Whipple has a lot to work on with his team. Bounce pass in the backcourt to Shirtliff. Shirtliff crossing the timeline. It's going to feed Gherkin. On the high right now to Link. Link dribbles to the top. Now to Lauk on the high left. Bounce pass inside to Shaver. He banks and scores with a left hand and he's fouled. Connor Shaver to the stripe to shoot one. Eddie Garcia commits the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Connor Shaver to shoot the free throw. That is up and back rimmed and Leachman. Grabs his 10th board. Here's Adrian Lopez to Leachman. Straight away three. Well short. Pulled the string. Rebound to Link. Link for Fort Morgan. Had the ball stripped by Nichols. Bounce passes off the foot of Link out of bounds. B Diggers retain possession. Fort Morgan has not played clean basketball tonight either. 22 turnovers. 
Minute 55 remaining. Luis Garcia checks in. For the Mustangs. Three from Contreras is short. Another missed three. Gets the rebound. Right baseline 10 footer. That's no good. And Luis Garcia grabs the rebound. Then nearly a steal by Leachman. And he does steal it away. Bounce pass for Lopez. He banks, misses, and he's fouled by Shaver. Well. Shaver with his fourth foul. Yeah, nobody's fouled out yet. Lopez l leans and misses the free throw. Second one upcoming. A minute 40 to go in the game. Fort Morgan 72, Brush 39. The Brush girls won tonight by 8, 41-33. That one is up, and that one is good. Again, offensive woes for Brush, but tonight defensive woes as well. They're pressuring in the backcourt. Lauk bounce pass off the foot of Garcia. For Morgan turns it over, picked up by Nichols. Now Garcia over to Adrian Lopez. Jump pass to Contreras, three in the air. That hit nothing but air. Nichols with a rebound, left baseline. He's tripped up. 18 foul, committing the foul with Shaver, and he's the first player to foul out. Sixteen boards tonight for Aaron Nichols. He's back at the stripe. And again, after this game, we'll have players of the game for both the boys and girls. Along with a recap of fouls and free throws and points. Oh, here is Aaron Nichols at the line. Free throw is up and off the back of the rim. And the ball is loose. It's picked up by Gherkin. And he's tied up. And it'll be Contreras to throw it in for Brush. His possession arrow is pointing in their direction. And our fourth top of the hour legal ID of the night. Nine o'clock. This is KPRB Brush Fort Morgan. Morgan County's B106 and on the World Wide Web at B106.com. Lopez back out the hall. Over to Garcia. Swings it right side to Contreras. Now to Aaron Williams. Williams with the basketball. On the left baseline to Contreras. Now over to Adrian Lopez. Lopez spinning left of the lane. In the lane. Left-handed shot off the glass. No good. Rebound to Gherkin of Fort Morgan. Gherkin on the high right with the basketball. In the right corner for Link. Back out to Garcia. Cross court to Shirtliff, 47 seconds to go. Fort Morgan 72, brush 40. Straight away, Link fakes the three and he traveled. Mustangs have committed seven turnovers in the quarter, but have also scored 24 points while holding the B-Diggers to 10. Here we go the other way. Adrian Lopez for Brush. Entry pass to Hall. Right corner for Garcia. Dribbles all the way off the glass and in for Eddie G. 72-42. 24 seconds remaining. Here is Trevor Shirtliff. This game probably will end with a foul the way we've been going, but let's see. 15 seconds to go. Here's Garcia on the outside right to Shirtliff. Nine seconds to go into Link. Back out to Garcia. Oh, good. I think they're going to dribble out the clock, and that'll be a no foul, and that's it. Big fourth quarter for the Mustangs. A big game for Fort Morgan. As they win on the road here against the Brush Bee Diggers in convincing fashion. Final score tonight. Fort Morgan 72. Brush 42. Let's take a two-minute break. We'll be back in two minutes with a recap of tonight's second basketball game from Brush on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Post-game show is brought to you by Morgan Community College. Find out why Morgan Community College is the best choice for your higher education. Visit MCC online at morgancc.edu or stop by the campus for a personal advising session Fort Morgan Mustangs win the second game, 72-42. Let's bring in the head coach of the B-Diggers, Tyrone Whipple. Tough couple of nights losing to Sterling last night, 54-27. And, and I'm sure you're figuring out that not only do you have to take care of the basketball, you got to hit some shots. Uh, I think it was 0 for the entire game from three-point range. 
and maybe this break comes at a good time for your team because by the end, I'm sure they looked a little bit tired, even though you're rotating players in and out, but uh, chemistry is still an issue, I'm sure, Coach. Yeah, I, and John, you're right. I think it's more confidence than chemistry because when you get in a slump and you and you can't put a shot in, perception becomes reality. They start, you know, they start to believe what they perceive and and we've just got to we've got to change their mindset and we got to be more aggressive so i try to get them attack the basket and the sad part about it we have a competitive game we play good defense but we just don't score the basketball and you don't score the basketball and you had a turnover then we had those lapses where we'll have three or four turnovers in a row where people aren't getting back we're not we're not sprinting back to the half line you know when there is a turnover and those, and those are the things that kill us and last night they killed us, and you probably seen it. I was beside myself because if you really look at the book, that second quarter, we I think we played Sterling well defensively. You know, we held them, you know, I think it was 10. They scored 10, 22, um, 10, and 12. I mean, for a team that that's explosive offensively, we did a good job. Tonight I thought we did a good job. We started to climb back in it. But once again, in the first quarter, we did, we dug a big hole. And yeah. we just weren't able to get close. So you say that something that is definitely a positive is shot selection. You're getting the shots yes. you want. They're just yes. not falling. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, we were able to move the ball a little better. You know, we made some adjustments this morning. We came in and talked, made some adjustments. And we were able to move the ball better. But we've got to get the ball to fall. We've got to get the ball to fall. That's the tell of the tape. We can't. We can't score. You know, we play aggressive defense. We we try to climb back in games, but we come down, we fire it up, and there's a lid on the basket, and you know the other team keeps scoring, and we don't, and that's a problem. One thing you said a couple of games ago when we talked after the three-point loss to Strasburg last Friday night that as long as Aaron Nichols stays out of foul trouble, he can be a valuable player tonight unofficially 16 points and yes. 15 rebounds. Yes. If you get a couple more performances like that from the outside, then this team is that much better. Yes, and, and, we, and we are because the thing is, as you see, I had a depth to keep everybody fresh. So even putting those guys down on the end of the bench, getting them in, and, you know, Marcus Contreras, a lot of people don't know him. You probably didn't know who he was when I put him in last night because we just moved him up. But the kid's got a good outside shot, and he's probably got a little jitters right now. So, And, and you're right, and those things are going to continue to happen, but we got to have more people score than just Aaron. We've got to get no inside. We've got to be more aggressive inside. We've got to attack the bucket, and we've got to eliminate the turnovers. And we can't get beat on the boards. I mean, we're not boxing out. Okay, We're running to the front of the rim. So that's another one of my woes that we continue to work on. So I, I would assume those are the ones that bother you more is, is the effort as opposed to the performance because yes. performance are going to go up and down, but the effort is another yes. thing altogether. Yes, I, and, and that's exactly right. You hit the nail on the head right there because we, we do. We, we've got to we've got to give better effort, and then we've got to have everybody give a better effort, not one. We've got to have five players playing as one and giving, and giving a great effort. And so, we don't get that all the time. So, Coach, what happens here during the break? You don't play for two and a half weeks. but And, obviously, it's like you have two different seasons in basketball. Yes. You've been part of this game for, for decades, even mm -hmm. though you're still a young guy. Yep. But you know the difference between December basketball and yes. then basketball in January and February. So, w coming off of four consecutive losses, what's the philosophy? What do these kids have to do knowing that they're off for a couple of weeks school-wise, but you want them to stay as sharp as possible? Well, well, we'll practice. I think the only days the chance and now it's a little better. We only miss the 24th, 20, 24th through the 27th where we can't practice. And then on, you know, obviously, New Year's Day. But we will just keep enhancing the system. And we're really going to I'm gonna have to dig in a little mentally and get these kids. You know, I'm going to have to start burping them, a little more confidence, okay? Have them trust the system and have them believe in their self because I think they're really down on their self because they get really emotional and they don't like to lose. But like I told them, you know, with our turnovers, I think as of yesterday, I don't know what our turnovers were tonight, we had 88 turnovers on the year. And we're not going to win ball games like that, John. Yeah, we had unofficially a 25 tonight. So, so. go again. So. What do you figure? 10 to 15 because uh, it's tough. You're playing yep. teams that put a lot of pressure on the ball and you've got a lot of inexperienced yep. players in terms of varsity playing time. So I'm sure you want to cut that down at least into the 10 or 15 range, although single digits would be a dream, but that, that might take a yeah, while. Yeah, and then if we can get 12, between 12 and 14, <laughs> I'd be happy at this point. And like you said, and I think some of the things, John, are just it's not the pressure. I think it's mental errors, okay, making bad choices and making bad decisions instead of sticking with the system. You know, a lot of times we bail from the system, you know, and we don't have, we don't have five players on the same page. We may have one or two. 
So until we can fix those things, we're going to continue to have problems and we're going to continue to be upset at the end of the night. Tyrone, appreciate your time. Thanks for being Thank up you. with me here after the game. As Thank the Mustangs, you guys. that's uh, head coach Tyrone Whipple of the Bee Diggers after the Bee Diggers fell to the Fort Morgan Mustangs 72 42. Let's run through the totals, some heavy totals. Uh, we had 35 free throws combined here in the opening half. And then for the game, 52 free throws in all. So let's start with the uh, the visiting uh, Mustangs. 19 points for Austin Breidenbach, 18 for Trey McBride. They had 11 from Tate Kemble. And then next up for Fort Morgan on the scoreboard, six points from Drew Gherkin. You had five from Grayson Garber, four points by Connor Shaver, uh, three in the game by Luis Garcia, two apiece for Trevor Link and Trevor Shirtliff. You also had three from Gertner. Now for the Bee Diggers, they had 16 points in the game from Aaron Nichols, 10 from Noah Leachman, Ryan Dunker with six, Trent Mount with three, and Eddie Garcia with two. We should also mention Adrian Lopez had five points in the game. The Bee Diggers were out-rebounded 43-34. 13 rebounds for Breidenbag for Fort Morgan, and then 15 rebounds for Nichols of Brush. Noah Leachman had 10. 25 turnovers apiece. The Bee Diggers, 14 out of 21 from the line. They were at 67%, 22 out of 31 for Fort Morgan. So they were a shade over 70% in the game. All right, so let's get to the uh, Mustang players of the game for both the boys and girls, brought to you by Mr. D's Ace Home Center with three locations to serve you better. Sterling Brush and Fort Morgan, your headquarters for your home, farm, and ranch supplies from plumbing to feed. And we had good performances there especially down the stretch. We're going to give it to uh, Allie Keller. She was the point guard, and the point guard had 10 points and 7 rebounds. She led Fort Morgan with 7 rebounds and brushes 41-33 victory. And on the boys' side, the player of the game, boy, it's either McBride or Breidenbach. Breidenbach's number is just a tad better, 19 points and 13 rebounds. McBride had 18 points and 10 rebounds. We'll give it to Austin Breidenbach. As for the Beat Digger players of the game, brought to you by Cargill Beef, committed to feeding the world in a responsible way by reducing environmental impact and improving products and processes. Learn about Cargill's story of commitment at Cargill.com. And for the Lady Beat Diggers, 17 points for Maddie Kerr. She is the player of the game. And, of course, Aaron Nichols in the boys' game, 16 points and 15 rebounds. With the victory, Fort Morgan improves to 2-4, and four, while the Beat Diggers fall to 1-4. and four. All right, so that does it until the month of January with uh, B Digger basketball here on Morgan County's, or Mustang basketball, I should say, on B106 and B106.com. And then B Digger basketball continues on 1010 and KSIR.com in about two and a half weeks. So we hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The final score, once again, from tonight's games, the Brush Girls defeat Fort Morgan 41 33. The Fort Morgan boys win 72 to 42, thanks to our. Sound engineer and producer, the boss man, Alec Crates, and I'm John Beltran from Brush High School right here on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com.